Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and one of the latest surveys that just came out is, did you know that 47% of the population happens to believe that Santa Claus is a Democrat and that he believes in taking from the wealthy and sharing with everybody else? That also coincides with the 47% of the population that pays no federal taxes. Well, for now, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. The market is roaring. Everybody's working. There's no inflation. Um, but it could be over for the Democrats if one of the Republican senators has his way. He said, very simple. He said, put the bill up that the president wants in the House exactly as the president wants it, and every Republican vote present. Put the bill up that the House sends you over to the Senate, and every Republican votes present. Mm -hmm then it is entirely the Democratic Party's thing, not the Republicans. And that is not something that uh, they said Obama went through a fit on that, said because our country needs us, needs both parties supporting this. And, and then one guy, the, the, the thing he went to his wife, oh, you mean like you pushed it through with absolutely not one Republican supporter? For, well, the health care was too important. And NBC Sports partners with Yahoo for content. Oh God! I mean, it's everything. Every time you turn around, uh, Yahoo is abandoning something that they basically did. We, we, uh, we at CES, we went to a couple of their really nice lunches that they give. That they were explaining the future of the company. Well, under the new head of the company, the head of the, the future of the company is basically just being a, a, a portal for everybody else, mm -hmm. and that you don't make money being a portal. And illness forces Clinton to briefly delay trip to meeting on Syria. Okay, here, here's the problem. Isn't that a lot of this from yesterday? We didn't do yesterday. We didn't do yesterday? Kids yesterday didn't get done. Oh, no wonder why. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yesterday didn't happen. That's why it's being done today, because yesterday we had a... We had an equipment failure yesterday, so she didn't, she sort of, we, we sort of, Kirby Daddy said, didn't we explain we had an equipment failure yesterday? Oh, yes. Well, you know how the days are running into each other. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we've got, we have internet problems and we had a problem with, okay, people, if you see this, do not put in WordPress 3.5 upgrade because it is not compatible in some cases with plugins you have on your computer. It is easy enough to fix if you disable all of your plugins first and then go back and refix it afterward. But if you put the thing on first, then you've got a problem. Illness forces Clinton to briefly delay a trip to meeting on Syria. See, this is why. She, she'll be 69 years old when she runs for president, if Obama decides to step down, which is likely. Yeah. And you want to put a person that is, that is uh, 65 and basically showing signs of... Uh, exhaustion and everything mm -hmm. is president, which is a worse job than what she's got. I know. And Obama's attend annual holiday concert in Washington. Yeah, but he's not going to, it doesn't call it a Christmas concert, it's a holiday concert now. Oh. Yeah, he will not, he will not mention the name Christmas unless he is absolutely forced to. It's, a, it's holiday this, holiday that, happy holiday. I just got a thing from the people, but put it this way. Uh, oh, here, here Daddy said, you know what, the CMA just said to this morning, that's the Country Music Association. What? They didn't wish a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, they wished Happy Holidays. Mm -hmm. They're having a holiday special, not a Christmas special, which means they are swinging to the left, too. Ooh, the Country Music Association? They, they will not mention Christmas if you do not say Merry Christmas. Uh, here's one. The, uh, the people on the left said the war has been won by the people on the right because Businesses are no longer telling employees to say, they don't have to say Merry Christmas. Uh, I don't hear Merry Christmas. I don't see Christmas. I don't hear Merry Christmas. Christmas. In fact, we've heard it from people that if a customer wishes an employee Merry Christmas and that employee says Merry Christmas back, then they can get in trouble. Yeah, you can fire an employee. You, they tell them, they, they say that you don't have to say Happy Holidays. They can be reprimanded. Just don't say anything. You know, Ridiculous. So the, 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 the war on Christmas is a real thing and it's led by people like Bill O'Reilly who is basically a farce. This man wouldn't get off his rear end to do anything that he can do but sit there and use it to sell books. I mean, the same thing. We know businesses that are listed as Christmas friendly 
that flat out have no reference to Christmas in their entire business except for selling products that say holiday gifts. And report atheists, oh, I love this, report atheists around the world serve for persecution and discrimination. Not as far as I know. They're a they're protected minority in the United States. They're a protected minority in every English-speaking country in the world. Because you consider a protected minority? They're a protected minority because uh, that everyone knows that, uh, that, that Christmas is, a, is a, a, a not politically correct anymore. It's just dying everywhere for the same mm -hmm. reasons. The, um, the, the more the left takes control, the less you're going to see of Christmas thing. Because actually, here's the way it works. Well, Herbie Daddy says, the more people that supposedly are standing up for your rights take control, the less rights you have as a result. Because in order to protect your rights, they have to suspend rights. I know, isn't that the most ridiculous? Yeah. And police, boy, 7 and 11 attempt robbery with guns. Yeah, I like that one, well, because I, I, I can guarantee you, I got shot with a kid that's somewhere between that age and Vietnam. Because I didn't, I was a kid, he's not going to... All shot things me. are equal when they're behind a gun, right? Yeah, I, I found out very quickly that they will shoot you. And hundreds of fishermen missing in the Philippine storm. Yeah, that's, and they're blaming it on global warming. No, it's because you go out in the middle of a typical storm season, a lot of people do not come back because storms, uh, okay, we were watching the movie the, the Life of Pi, and if the storm that hit him actually does happen so many times a year, they'll have massive storms <coughs> in, the, uh, uh, in the ocean, and they'll just take both down in seconds. 12, 12, 12, the beginning of the end of the world? Well, yeah, they said Obama is basically in president again. There, see, there's a difference. What they're doing is they're they're taking a literal translation of what was said. They said it will be the end. They said, well, I heard saw one of the scholars here. If you want to learn anything, you actually can watch the educational channels on television. He said the translation means end of the world as they knew it. Oh, uh -huh. is that where the Gerard Butler got that saying? <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like that kiss would be the end of the world as she knew it. That's right. Yes, yeah, and Matt, if he wants to return to the U.S., normalize. Well, they said that he's been, um, they think he's on his way back to the United States. Uh, they said it had nothing to do with the fact that uh, he, you know, he has hundreds of millions of dollars and is a billionaire and that he probably just paid somebody in Guatemala to let him go. But what happens is the United States has an extradition treaty with the country that they charge you with murder and the United States will kick his butt back out because, oh, what is it? It's called, he supported the president. Oh. And he's wealthy, so the president is, is kicking the rears of everybody that supported him. Oh, get let this one. Under the Obama proposal, it will kill the state of California. What? Because it's going under the Obama tax proposal, it removes the deduction for bonds. Which what? means there's no reason oh, for the no. wealthy to buy bonds anymore. And, uh, and the, the bonds are what support the state. Yeah, they said, it, they, they said it will wipe out almost every program for the minorities, it's people needing social programs, because they won't have the bonds. To, you know, who's going to buy a bond that's got no value? No one. New Jersey and New York pass a case for an $80 billion, 78 bill. You know, what they're talking about the fact that none of that's actually going to the people. That's going to rebuild infrastructure, all of it. There's no money for homes. There's no money for the businesses that are lost. It's $80 billion in infrastructure repair, which one of the people said. They're all talking about, well, we're going to build infrastructure for the 22nd century, and they figure two, three trillion dollars is what they're going to get from the government if they can do it. They'll take as much as they can get. Yeah, but none of it's going to go to the people that need it. Oh, they, they, they did this morning. They absolutely uh, praised the President of the United States. And his, they said, unlike George Bush, Barack Obama was here immediately to help the people of New York. Well, the people of New York and New Jersey still have gotten no help. Unlike George Bush, who basically the help started within 48 hours, the people are still waiting for the help to come in those states. That's really sad. And it, They've been oh, waiting a long time. Oh. And it's cold. <clears throat> yeah, oh, it's cold. Yeah, we know it's cold. It's, 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 I mean, not that being cold should make a difference, but it's a little easier to deal with when it's warm. Oh, God, it's, it's, uh, it's damp and cold. There is a problem 
you know, is that we cannot keep, this is a California house, and you cannot keep the, the heat in the house because you have to open all the with blinds. We have thermal blinds, but in order to be able to see what you're doing, because there's no lights in California homes, in ceilings, folks. There, there are ceiling lights all over the world, but not in California. And marijuana goes legal in Washington State amid mixed messages. Well, if you get caught on a federal highway with it, you get arrested. If you get caught on a state highway with it, they, uh, they don't arrest you. If you have an accident because of marijuana, there's no laws that says that uh, having marijuana and driving is illegal where there are, you know, so that the, the, what they did was they passed something to raise money that is going to end up costing money because the state, the federal government is going to take money away from every state that passed those laws. And White House and Boehner quietly swap fiscal plans. Yeah, the fiscal <laughs> plans is you will give us money, we will spend it, and we've all, I mean, Nancy Pelosi yesterday came on the floor and said that we have already committed to more cuts in the budget than the Republicans and their rich allies are, are willing to commit to. And they, they're trying to find out where those cuts are. You know, there aren't, they can't find a single cut in any budget that they're talking about, but they, they think what it is is that, that one of the people said, well, the savings from health care alone will help balance the budget, and then, they, then yesterday they admitted, well, yeah, it's actually going to cost the average citizen more than they're currently paying. But that's something that they do in order to make certain that those that aren't covered are covered. And a Monty bubble is the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, let's see, okay. A, a poll is only as accurate as the political party that's taking it wants it to be. You know, we'll go do that. We'll go over and we'll do them.